What is going on everyone? Thank you so much for coming back today. Uh, you know, previously in my videos, I like to mention fun facts about Hollywood movies or videos that I'm doing, and I get a lot of good feedback about those. So I thought today would be a great idea just to compile all the Hollywood fun facts that I know, that I've researched and I've found out, and just throw them into one video for you guys. So, um, without wasting any more time, let's go and get started. So, on the Hollywood musical Singing in the Rain, uh, you have Gene Kelly who's walking down the sidewalk here, and it is raining, of course, just like the, the movie says. But whenever they're shooting this film and they, they realize that water is just not showing up the way we'd like for it to show up. It is it doesn't it just look like everything's wet. So they went back and they did some trial and error and they really found out that using milk as rain shows up so much better on camera. So in singing in the rain, he is singing in milk. A lot of times you have two movies being filmed in the exact same place, and that's exactly what happened in 2007. You had There Will Be Blood, and you had No Country for Old Men, both being filmed in Marfa, Texas. If anyone's seen There Will Be Blood, there was a lot of explosions and a lot of stuff going on. So Joel and Ethan Cohen, the directors of No Country for Old Men, said in numerous times that they had to stop shooting and stop filming until all the smoke cleared. Um, out of the sky, so that way they could resume filming their movie, No Country for Old Men. So that's kind of funny to think about. Toy Story 2 almost didn't happen. So they store all their files under this master machine. But just so happens, over 90% of the movie actually got deleted. You know, they they were scrambling, trying to restore all the files and back them all up. And they just couldn't do it. They thought they'd lost the whole entire movie. But fortunately, one of the film's technical directors had actually taken the film home to work on it at her house. So she had just brought it in, and everything was restored, and everything goes on as planned. So you never knew that you almost lost Toy Story 2. The horror classic Psycho uh, was actually the very first featured film to feature a tulip being flushed. Didn't know that. The cult classic American Psycho starring Christian Bale is just one of those amazing movies. If you've never seen it, go check it out. It's definitely worth a watch. But on interviews, Christian Bale has actually stated that he got his inspiration, his intenseness, his over-the-top friendliness attitude, um, and just you never know where he's going to go next from the Hollywood A-lister, Tom Cruise. So he has said that he'd watched a lot of interviews on Letterman, all kinds of interviews that he'd watched with Tom Cruise to kind of get the inspiration of just the sporadic acting and just mannerisms that he brought onto the screen in American Psycho. So that's pretty funny. Next up, I have the very famous 1939 Wizard of Oz. Now, of course, this is just one of those movies that still holds a spot in cinematic history. Um, but the scene where Dorothy is traveling to the Emerald City and she ends up falling asleep in the flowers. Um, basically what happens is she wakes up, she's covered in snow. Um, the filmmakers at the time used asbestos, which is crazy to think about that knowing what we know now about asbestos, but they used it on the film, just completely covering the actors and actresses up in the movie. So it's kind of scary to think about. Another fun fact about Wizard of Oz, the dog Toto from the movie, um, actually made $125 per week shooting Wizard of Oz. The Munchkins on set? Only made $50 a week. So, kind of crazy that a dog made more than actual humans filming a film. After the success of Finding Nemo, I believe that every kid in America just begged their parents for a clownfish. I promise, I'll take care of it. I'll do whatever I got. I'll clean the tank, I swear. But marine biologists actually reported that they saw a 75% decrease in clownfish in the Australian reef. So, we almost lost the clownfish based off Finding Nemo. This next part is kind of fun because these are scenes that were filmed backwards. I have two of them for you today. We all, it's, we just passed Christmas, we all watched Home Alone. You know the very famous scene where Harry and Marv are leaving the driveway and they almost hit Kevin. Well, fun fact, they actually filmed that scene backwards. So Harry and Marv actually pulled up to Kevin and they backed up. That's how they filmed the scene. That's how they got so close to Kevin without actually hitting him. Pretty cool. Um, another famous scene that was shot backwards is on Pulp Fiction whenever Vincent Vega is actually trying to resuscitate Mia Wallace and he has to shove the needle into her heart to give her the adrenaline. That scene was actually filmed backward as well. So the scene that you see actually takes place with him pulling the needle out, not the needle going in. Another little bit of movie knowledge for you guys. The last one I have on the list, of course I would love to hear from you guys. Drop me a comment down below guys. 
Um, it may not be one of the ones I listed here today. But what is your favorite Hollywood fun fact that you just bust out anytime you watch a movie? You're like, hey, did you know? Did you know that happened? <laughs> Uh, and really, probably people like me, and they're like, okay, nerd. Last one up on the list I have, I have Alan Rickman, The Fall and Die Hard, just how it looks so real. Um, you know, it's one of those scenes that it still holds up today, because The Fall is just done so well. If you've never seen Die Hard, of course, what are you doing? Go watch it. It's such a, a tremendous, um, just staple in cinematic history. But The Fall at the end... Um, you know, you have Alan Rickman, who is just one of the greats of great, um, played Professor Snape in Harry Potter. Here he plays Hans Gruber. Um, at the very end of the scene, he, you know, he is, he falls off this building. Basically what happens is they had hooked him up this harness, and they told him they were going to count to three, and then release him, and he's going to fall onto this crash pad. Well, what the producers already knew in their heads, they were going to cut it at one. So, the scene you see, the facial recognition, the facial shot you see of him is when they say one, they cut the rope, he starts to fall. So, he, in that scene, he generally feels like he, he is falling. So, that is so classic, such a very iconic scene still being played over and over today that you see this and you just think, that was pretty funny, they pulled that trick on him. Um, but, they said he was pretty pissed once he got back up. Another fun fact, if you want to help me and help support this channel, the best way to do that is send that thumbs up button down below. Hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, you can quickly become one. It's absolutely free. Just click the little button down below. And out beside that, turn on that little bell notification and select all. And then YouTube will send you a nice little reminder whenever I upload a new video. Um, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for checking out. Make sure you go follow me over on Instagram. I have my Instagram here on the screen below. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Mom, I love you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. Hey, if you want to watch another video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click over here. As always, thanks for watching, guys.